guys, how you doing? It's the Honeydew Carpenter. I am super excited to bring you this next video. Okay, this is video two of the release of our Aircrete air conditioner. Um, in this one, we're going to give you a quick sneak peek of the finished product and of it working. I love it when a plan comes together. Get your finger out of there. You have what? dirt on your face. Oh, or I've just been informed by Mrs. Honeydew that I have air creed on my face. I don't know how that got there. <laughs> but, <clears throat> oh, yeah, I'm wearing a back brace, baby. I, see, safety first, those bags of cement are heavy. But anyways, back to <laughs> my intro. <laughs> you guys are going to get a sneak peek of the finished product and of it working. And we're going to take you through uh, putting together and pouring the uh, air conditioning block with the super cooling tubes through it. Um, there is some uh, material that's going to come in the, the next video that's a little more uh, on the, I guess, higher skill set level of the DIY of squaring up the tubes and drilling the holes all perfectly square through them. So, just so you know, Watch out for the Kickstarter. Um, that's probably going to be part, because it's on the higher skill set level, that it'll be sent out in different packages of those pipes being pre-drilled for the super cooling tubes and whatnot. But uh, if you guys want to follow along on these things and you want to build one of these for yourself, be sure and go to our Etsy store. Uh, we're at Honeydew Carpenter Shop on Etsy. And get yourself a foam mate so that you can do these things. It's it's really cool and then you'll have one for f future projects or if you want to build a building or whatnot so let's get started going down all the uh, holes through the top I've sealed around the holes 61.85 out of the 59.7 59.3 no All right, guys, you can take um, a couple of these holes. You can even cut them out. It doesn't matter. Um, just use them as a template. These holes are a little big to begin with, so you can, if they end up being a little smaller, it's no big deal, as long as the pipe will fit through it. And we just want to take this area where we uh, don't have holes on the bottom of that. You make them a little bit small, but then you, you can use a blow dryer or a heat gun if you've got it and just warm up the plastic. And then you can just force these uh, through like that. And they will be nice and tight and sealed. So these two we won't have to seal and they're going to act as part of the form in that when you push these together and push this through the hole on the other side it uh, it'll be tight on there and you can kind of push these in so that this whole surface it kind of tapers into the center. Now that's going to be important after we get it poured and you want them to stay kind of tapered in. So you push these two in together like that. And they're tight on there so they stay. Okay guys, <clears throat> um, next I took obviously and cut up the pieces of PVC pipe. And then I drilled holes in them, identically. They're square, they're perfect, and I put skewers through them. Skewers are just eighth inch strips of bamboo. You can buy them by the hundreds for cheap. Now, you're gonna need roughly 18 skewers 
and they're going to go through this. These are going to create our cooling elements that are going to go inside the aircrete and now how are we going to get this inside of this which turned out fabulously um if you can can you see that babe or maybe do some close-ups of the ones i've already put in As soon as I get it aligned, they drop right down through, clear through to the center. Now I'll take this one. Okay, I got all of these sealed up. Okay guys, this uh, form is all set up. All the silicone all around, on, around every pipe is all set up. Oh, I did add just some inch and a quarter strips and just siliconed them on the outside and just pushed against it and then put sides on and just silicone. So that's the only thing holding this, plexiglass. The reason I did that is because we're going to be pouring down into these holes. And I also wanted a nice trough for uh, water to uh, go down through um, when the thing is complete. We've got... The top is obviously open to pour the air creed in. The sides, remember we took and put the um, saran wrap. You can use Visqueen, whatever. We put a bead of caulk around and just stuck it in there. So it's completely sealed there. All of the uh, ends of the pipes are completely sealed. And these fit pretty tight in them holes. So we shouldn't have any um, air creed leaking anywhere out of this box and out of this block. Thank you, babe.
Hey guys, if you like what we're doing here, be sure and give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, click the bell at the bottom to get notifications, and you know what, share these videos with everyone you know, and let's uh, get this information out there. Uh, baby, uh, thumb up. <laughs>